Follow up tonight on the alleged locker room rape case at Damascus High School in Montgomery County. Four freshman football players say sophomores use brooms to sexually assault them back in 2018. And today, lawyers for the alleged victims filed lawsuits. They claim the Montgomery County Board of Education, coaches and principals at the school all knew about the alleged sexual assault, but turned a blind eye. Our Mike Wise has been following this story closely. He joins us this evening with his take. Mike. Thank you, Larry. Like many parents of kids who play youth sports in Maryland, I was sickened by the story of the 14 and 15 year old boys sexually assaulted by their junior varsity football teammates 15 months ago. It's bad enough Damascus high school officials may have known and ignored warnings about a deviant hazing ritual called brooming. That's what the parents of three of the players assaulted claimed in their lawsuit filed Thursday morning in Montgomery County Circuit Court. It's even worse that the then Damascus principal is alleged to have called the meeting over the school's intercom for about 25 players after finding out about the incident. After berating everyone, including victims that were present, she is said to have actually accused the kids of, quote, ruining Coach Colbert's winning streak. Casey Kraus has since transferred schools, but if that's true, I wouldn't let her work in education again. Four of the perpetrators, all 14 or 15 years old, pled guilty in juvenile court last year. The AD and JV, JV coach were relieved of their duties. The vars varsity coach, Eric Wallach, resigned last month but still works at the school as a teacher. All the dominoes are falling except one. See, the most disturbing part of the complaint talks about a culture of allowing student athletes to victimize other student athletes that was purportedly discussed among parents at parties. Think about that for a second. Parents at parties allegedly discussed a program where, quote, many freshman football players were too afraid to change their clothes in the locker room after practices and or games for fear of being broomed. That's just not deliberate indifference. No, that's parental neglect. That should be a criminal offense. For all the wrongheaded decision making by school officials that creates a culture like this, the fact that some of the parents might have been enablers makes you want to confront them too. It makes you want to put them on the stand and ask simply, how in the hell do you raise your kids to think a sexually assaulting their teammates is okay? I'm Mike Wise, a youth sports parent in Maryland. Feel free to email me your opinion at mwise.wsa9.com. Hit me up on Twitter at Mike Wise Guy or ask us anything on the show at the Q&A at wsa9.com. Larry?